Hi, today we will be showing you how to use your robotic material smart hand with a universal robot. In this tutorial, we are using Polyscope 3.9 on a UR5. Start by inserting a flash drive with a UR cap into your pendant. Navigate to Setup Robot and use the plus symbol to add a UR cap. Navigate to the flash drive and select the smart hand UR cap. Before you restart the robot, click on the network button and make sure networking is enabled. We are using DHCP, but you can also set a manual IP address that is on the same subnet as the smart hand. You now need to restart the robot. After restart, select Program Robot. Start an empty program, navigate to the Installation tab and scroll down to the Entry Smart Hand. If your smart hand is on the same subnet as the robot, press Scan to search for the smart hand. The button turns orange once the hand has been found. Press Init to launch the hand's UR Cup server. Once the Scan button turns green, you can use the Open and Close buttons to test your gripper. We will now create a simple pick and place application. Navigate to the UR Caps tab in the Program Structure Editor and select the Smart Hand UR Cap. The command Open Gripper will appear in the program tree. We will now move to a waypoint that is approximately 25 cm above the items you want to pick. We will now insert our second Smart Hand command to localize the object. Use the pull down menu in the command tab to choose Get Object Pose. This command will return a grass pose for the largest object underneath the camera. Insert a new move command to move to that pose. In the command tab of this move command, use the pull down menu in the top right corner to select Variable Position. As you can see in the program tree, the variable returned by the get object pose command is T as in target 2. We now need another command from the smart hand toolbox in the your cap tab. Now change the command to close gripper. Add another move command to move back to a safe position such as waypoint 1. Instead of going through the pull-down menu, locate the link symbol underneath the pull-down menu and select Waypoint 1. Finally, add a second waypoint that will serve as a drop-off location. This is pretty much how it will look like once you start looping this program. The robot will return to Waypoint 1, take a look, select the highest object, drop it and so forth. In case the hand doesn't find an object to grasp, Get Object Pose will return the arm's current pose. Use the command get object info to retrieve not only a pose, but also a binary variable as to whether the hand found an object as well as the optimal grasping aperture to minimize collisions of the fingers with the environment. In the next tutorial, we show you how to train your smart hand to detect specific objects and perform advanced tasks such as assembly and bin picking. Stay tuned!